Hello, my name is Dr. Philip Adu. So I'm going to show you how to use Descript. Descript is a software that you can use for editing, you can use it for transcription, but in the unique aspect of this software is that you can do both at the same time. So this means that you can upload your video or your audio, and then the system can transcribe it for you. If you plan to edit the video, that you have uploaded, you can watch the video. As you are editing the transcript, your video is also, also being edited automatically. So it saves you a lot of time. I've been using it for almost a year for my video editing. In a normal situation, you have to first edit your videos before you transcribe. But this software, you don't have to edit your video first. If you want to know how to do it step by step, I've developed a document that gives you step-by-step. -step. So let me show you that document. So this is the document that I've developed. You can look at the description section and download it for free. I've also put a link there if you want to get access to the software you'll be able to get. So I provide how to use it. It's so easy to use. It's user-friendly. You don't have to spend a lot of time learning how to do it. So let me just quickly go through how to use the software. If you are into podcasting yes you can upload all the videos or the audio and then you can transcribe and it's be able to differentiate between people right multiple speakers and the system is so unique you can also do video editing you can also do screen recording i'm going to demonstrate that to you for you to know and also you cannot be able to transcribe your audio, uh, especially when you're doing a qualitative study. Let me quickly go through the process. If you want to get access, you just go to the website and then you can click on the get started for free and you'll be able to download and then you'll be able to get access to it. This is a lot of projects that I've done. And I'm going to quickly demonstrate to you how I use the descript for my video editing. So first, what I do is that I go to new. So I click on that and you can click on project. If you are bringing in video and you want to edit the video, you can bring that information inside. But if you want to do a screen recording, you can click on this one. So let me click on it and see how the screen recording process is. It's trying to locate the camera. I'm using the camera now to record so it doesn't show the camera is already being used. That's why it's not showing here. But if I wasn't using the camera, then I'll be able to see myself here. But let me see, let me turn off my camera here and see whether it will show up. So now the camera can work. If you want to you just record yourself without screen recording then you can click on this one camera and it will show here if you want to screen record you can click on this one and then you see myself here you can move it to any location that you want so this is how you're going to do that and then when you want to start recording you can click on start screen recording so now you can see that it's now recording what I'm talking about here. When you finish recording, you can click on this icon and then it will stop recording and it will immediately start transcribing what you have recorded. You can see here it is transcribing. When it's finished transcribing to show here and you can click on it and listen to it. So you can see here that it has already finished transcribing. It can also prompt you if you want to remove any filler words like arm. So if you want to remove the filler word, you can click on remove and then just remove that information. So you can easily edit the, your transcript even here, right? So this is the way that you can screen record. In case you want to upload a video and edit it, how do you do that? You click on new and you click on project. You do this when you want to import a video for you to transcribe or edit, right? So let's name this one Project 7. You can give it any kind of name that you want. And then click on Create. This one, it gives you a chance to indicate the speaker, especially when you have more than one speaker, then you can indicate the speaker so that the system can detect different speakers, right? But if you have only one, you don't have to indicate the speaker. So when you are done opening, you just 
drag and drop the document or drag and drop the video that you want to edit. So I'm looking at my second screen, trying to drag and drop. As you can see here, it has been uploaded. So now what it's doing is that is now transcribing. It will take a couple of minutes for you to transcribe. Sometimes it based on the length of a video, right? So this one is not all that long, so it shouldn't take a long time for it to transcribe. Now we have the transcript, right? So as you can see here, things have been underlined. These are the things that the system wants you to take a second look, especially the filler words. Um, you know in case you want to take them out, right? So the system has automatically identified things that you have to take a look at and see whether you can take them out. You don't have to go through each of the sentences to delete the filler words. You can just go to the tools here, you click on that and then remove filler words, and then you can easily remove them. So it, it will show you all the filler words. And then if you would want to take them out, you just click on apply to all. Normally when I upload this one, my intention is to edit the video at the same time, getting the clean transcript. You are not going to get it hundred percent accurate in terms of transcription. So you always have to go back and make the necessary changes. One example here is the system said Philip Petty. So I have to change this one. If you want to change anything, you select and go to correct, and then you can correct that information here, right? So. I type a do and then click on correct. And also you can, if you see anything that is wrong, you just select and then you can make the necessary change. If you want to delete what you said. So if let's say I want to delete, I receive an email from a senior editor. If I want to delete this information, I just select and then I click on delete and I, and then it automatically deletes what I said in the video. You can also go here and delete that information. If you want to delete something here, you see, I highlighted it also highlight here. If I want to delete, I just select that and I click on delete. That information will be taken out. We have many ways of approaching, but this is what I do. I just glance through and make the necessary correction that I can see. The next step I can sometimes that I do is I go to the tools here and then click on detect transcription errors. So what this system does is any potential errors that they can see in a transcription, it will detect or underlie for you. Then you can go through and then make the necessary correction. If they, you think that the information is not the right information, you just make it a necessary correction. So it will take a couple of minutes for it to detect the errors. So when it's done, it will underlie and then you can go through and make the necessary correction. Let's wait for it to finish. I think it's done. So what you have to do is you can see that some of the information here has been underlined. So what you have to do is you can select the first word and then click on correct. And you see here where it says correct transcription errors. The system has identified 59 potential errors, right? Some of them might not be an error. You just have to take a second look uh, at the phrases or the sentences that has been underlined with green. So you just click on that. And then what will happen is that the system will read or play aspect of a phrase or a sentence that contain the error so that you can listen to it and make the necessary correction. If you want to play it again, you click on this one and play it again, right? If you realize that everything is correct, then you can click on accept and it will take you to the next error. So here it says about qualitative research. I don't see anything wrong here. So I click on accept. So he said, you know, so, so. He said, you know, it should be, she said, not you said. So you can make the change here and click on accept. We're going to go through all of them and then it will play a little bit and for you to make the necessary corrections. So when you are done, let's assume that we are done, right? 
you can also think about, okay, should I remove the filler words? So you can go to remove filler words. It will show you all the filler words. And if you are okay with them and you can click on apply to all and the system will remove all the filler words for you. So that will also affect the video, right? So the system has removed everything for you in terms of the filler words. If you also want to re shorten the word gaps, right? So sometimes when you are talking, maybe the space between words, are, maybe you think it's wider, right? Taking a long time to say words and you can use this one to reduce the gap, right? You can say that, okay, the gap between the words should be not longer than 0 0.3, 0 seconds. You can change it to any one that you want. So when you decide or you put the information here, you can click on it apply to apply all and it to be able to you it's the system will automatically shorten the word let me undo it and also show you another way of shortening so you can do the shortening of the words manually you can do that by look going here and selecting the place that you want to take away right so maybe the length between this word right and then that's one, right? It's wide, so you can select that and then you can delete. Another thing that you can use is that, let's say you want the caption to be embedded on the video. So you can go here, click on the plus sign, search for fancy capture, and then you'll be able to see the words here as interesting. And I want to, so you can put it, shape it the way that you want. You want to appear on the video. You can do this, especially if you want to upload this one on TikTok. You can do that. If you want to upload your video on YouTube, you don't have to do this. There's other things that you can do in terms of you can record your voice and then let the system learn your voice. What happens is that the system learns your voice. And then when you upload a document, you can let your own voice that has been recorded read the document that you have uploaded. So this software is very unique and very complex and you can use it for many things and it's easy to use. In case you want to export, you click on share and click on export and then you click on video right and then you click on export right if you also want to export the subtitles you can export that it has some options for you the first one and the second one here i always choose the first one especially if you want to upload it on youtube and then click on export and you'll be able to get these two kinds of documents if you are a qualitative researcher you just want to use it for transcription it's so easy you upload that information and listen to the audio and then make the necessary corrections so the corrections could be just select that you go to correct and then make necessary corrections here so that's how you can use the software to help you to edit to transcribe to do screen recording and video recording if you want to access to the step-by-step -step document you can download it for free check the description section you can download it for free and if you want to get access to the software there's a link below that you can also get access and use so if you have any question let me know i'll be happy to address them for you if you want more information about qualitative research and how to collect data and analyze data and also present your findings, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your time.